Say it feels the same. Um, I think, you know, back then, I, I, I think we, you know, well, I don't think we had a good, a good football team like we have now, um, as far as talent-wise. So, um, I think this season is, you know, has been disappointing for everybody, a lot of frustration. Um, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, in the zone and they were to make some plays. Um, we just came up one play short of it. Did they stay in the same coverage the entire time? The entire game you saw? No. Um, they did a good job of just mixing things up. Um, you know, they have a good, good head coach who's, you know, good at you know, mixing things up. So they, they never stayed the same. Andre, your second fastest in NFL history is 900 catches behind Marvin Harrison. Um, I know when you lose, it's hard to think about those things. Could you give us some thoughts about what that means to you? <laughs> It's humbling. Uh, it just shows that you know the work that you put into the game is paying off. Are you amazed by the stat when you think about all the great receivers in this league over all these years? Only one guy's gotten there quicker than you. I mean, that's that's. I don't think it's really you know hit me yet. Um, but to hear that, I mean, in my mind, Jerry Rice is the you know the guy, the, the greatest receiver that ever played. So. To do something faster than he's done, I mean, it's it's a uh, it's a tremendous honor. What about being in class with <coughs> Marvin Harrison? I mean, it's great. I mean, I, I like I said, I'm I'm humbled by it. Um, you know, I was able to you know get to see Marvin a lot because we played in the same division. So uh, he's one of my favorite guys. You know, to watch play and uh, you know to be in the class with him. I mean, it's a it's a great feeling. I think when you look at um, if you if you look at all the young quarterbacks around the league, um, it's just like hit or miss, you know, every week. Um, you know, sometimes they go out there and they play great. You know, sometimes they go out and they struggle. And, you know, with Case, you know, it's, it, he's just really getting into it. You know, I think it's been four or five games or whatever. And, uh, you know, he's, he's going to have good days. He's going to have bad days. But it, it's all about how you respond to it. And, uh, you know, everything's not going to be perfect. You know, we struggled last week, you know, as an offense. Um, today we were able to go out and ball down the field and put some points on the board and, and make some big plays, but you know, like I said, we just didn't make enough. Can you take us inside the huddle a little bit when he does struggle? You know, guys like you and Dwayne and other guys, how do you, how do you support him in the huddle? You, you don't, to be honest, if he's struggling, you'll never think he was. You know, he's, uh, his attitude, his approach um, 
to the game is, is great. It's not like, you know, it's not the mentality of a young player, you know. When things are going bad, he's trying to, he's in the huddle saying things to keep everybody up, you know. He's not just thinking about himself, so. Um, he's, he's a fiery guy. He loves the game, and, and I think that's the great thing about him. You know, he loves the game. He tries, no matter, you know, winning or losing, he's, you know, he's on everybody trying to get everybody going. So. You got 900 catches. You've been through the playoffs now. For a vet like you, how hard is it for you to get up for the next four games of the season? It's not hard. You know, uh, I love playing the game of football. So anytime I get a chance to go out and play a game, you know, um, I want to go out and compete and play my hardest. So, um, you know, football is a game. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy doing it. And uh, anytime you get to, you know, you can play under those bright lights, you know, um, I don't think it's hard to get up and play. With what you said about Case earlier, these last six games, you've had the ball late in all those games, the chance to score, to tie the game or extend it or win the game. Have y'all felt confidence each time you've gone on the field in those situations? Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I don't. We didn't go on the field with any doubt that we can go down the field and score. You know, to win a game. Um, and there, and I, I don't think there's ever been doubt. You know, no matter who's at quarterback. So, um, like I said, we just needed. We need another play today, and we didn't get it. So that's pretty much it. plays in the other team. Um, you know, I think, you know, when we had that one drive uh, in the fourth quarter, I think we went three and out, and they went down and got three. And, uh, you know, they, they took advantage of that drive, and we did, you know, even though we had a chance at the end. But, you know, uh, like I said, we just didn't, you know, make the plays to get it done. Players always find ways to change themselves over their career. How are you a different receiver now than you were younger in your career? Um, I think I'm just playing smarter. Um, a lot of things you just, you know, I think you just learn over time. Um, I think a lot of times, you know, things are drawn a certain way. Coaches want you to do it a certain way. Um, but I think over time, as you learn things, sometimes you're going to learn to break things off and do things a little different. And, uh, they might get upset at you, you know, in the beginning, but, you know, sometimes it works out. So, uh, but at the same time, as you go, if you play, you know, 10, 11 seasons like I have, over time you just learn and you just play smarter as a player.